Hi and welcome. Today I have another stationary Paul unboxing video for you. They were so kind and asked me to order some stuff for free on their website. And today I will unbox this lovely package. The packaging they put together is always the most beautiful I've ever gotten and there are always little gifts inside which are usually pretty cute just as these little rabbit heads. This is also something my daughter really likes about orders from Stationery Pal that she us usually gets a little gift. This is also a gift that comes in the package perfect for Christmas and that's Obviously, also something you can give to a kid. Same with this little cute teddy bear, which is in every order I've gotten so far. What I also really enjoy is that lovely paper confetti, and I always keep it to use it for um, things that I gift to someone or that I send out. These two ballpoint pens are also... Um, a little gift and they are super cute. The reason Stationery Pal has sent me that lovely gift box is they have a big Black Friday promotion going on with really tons of sales. So I recommend you check out their website, their YouTube channel and also subscribe to their newsletter because you get a lot of deals at the moment. I also have an extra discount code for you, you can use when you order over there and I will put this in the video description. Um, the first things I am getting out of this box are some little presents I ordered for the kids and obviously they are all Harry Potter themed except from that lovely little squishy guinea pig or hamster. Um, you saw at first. That's for my daughter because she has um, a lot of guinea pigs. We will try all the markers later in the video. I'm curious to see what is inside this gift box. I have no idea and I was really surprised when I saw this little clear award. It's a crystal crystal glass I would say something like that and there is my name on it and they say thank you for uh, being part of the team and I really like this little uh, gift because it's just um, a nice way to say thank you um, and I think it's pretty lovely I also ordered a full pack of mild liners. These are brush pens on the one side and a kind of a bullet tip on the other side and we will try these later in my sketchbook. More Harry Potter stuff. This should be also kind of a ballpoint pen. Um, I will also unpack it later in the video and as I always have to, it's because I have two kids, so everyone gets one. I also ordered some pens from Pentel. These are also fine liners or ballpoint pens. I have to try that out um, because I have tons of markers and pencils in my studio, but I never find a simple ballpoint pen to write with and these were so lovely especially this one with the cute little mumin mu um, and so I decided to order some just to have them sitting next to me for writing and here I have these uh, Ofude Briolo I can't remember the name at the moment I will let you know um, when I swatch them and these are metallic brush pens. And finally, I have these two notebooks with Gryffindor on top. So that's perfect for the kids too. 
We will now swatch the markers. I'm using my Royal Talent sketchbook and this is one that is dedicated to swatching materials. Usually I did this in my sketchbook that I was currently using, but when it gets full and I fill a lot of sketchbooks, then I just put it aside and later if I want to know the colors of the materials, I have to search for them. And so I have decided to make one sketchbook just for these kind of things, uh, swatches and putting color palettes together. These mild liners are from Zebra and as I said, they have a brush tip on one end and a finer tip on the other. But it's not a fine liner tip, it's a bit thicker and I think I will use it um, here later to let you see how it looks. And I prefer it, it reminds me on the size of the Tombow dual brush pens um, on, the, on the finer end. Um, I ordered these because they are pastel -y and I really um, use pastel colors um, a lot more often than um, normal colors in my sketchbook because I usually use them as a base and then I draw on top with pencils. Um, another option would be to use these lovely brush pens in my bullet journal. Um, because they are really gorgeous. I am not a hand lettering artist and I never do hand lettering but I think because of that great brush tip almost everyone can do a nice writing so um, they will also be great for my bullet journal. I have to see where I will use them the most. I want to tell you a little bit more about Stationery Pal. I ordered a few times already over there and obviously they have stationery supplies which means you get all kinds of markers there. I also got a lot of Tombow markers from them um, which are also my favorite markers for sketching. Um, I, they have the Pit Artist Pens um, the brush markers, they have Monami. Um, there, I recently got the uh, Monami Plus pens, which are gorgeous for bullet journaling. Um, they have highlighters, text markers, all kind of that stuff, and also a lot of cute stationary supplies, washi tape, um, and whatnot. So, um, it's a really nice shop to browse through and find some new materials. I'm super happy I decided to order these markers because I really love the soft colors. Um, I think when you use them either in the sketchbook they are perfect to make a background or a first layer and have the possibility to go on top with other materials. And also for the bullet journal, I prefer softer colors. Um, I have some cheap watercolor brushes here, markers here for my bullet journal, which came in a big set and they are not very expensive. And I usually only reach for the pastel colors and almost never for the most or more saturated ones. The neon yellow is, I believe, twice in this package. Um, it looks totally similar to me. And here I have the Kuriteki Zig Fude Beauty Biori, Fuda Biori, Fuda Biori maybe, the metallic ones. These are brush pens um, with a metallic um, effect. And what I can say, they feel really great, the brush tip itself. Um, I think after swatching them, the metallic effect 
is not super visible but it also might depend a bit on the paper you are working on. It has just a very soft metallic sheen so um, I thought I would use them in my bullet journal but um, I think I will use them in my sketchbook. They are super opaque, they remind me a little bit on um, acrylic markers because they are so opaque and um, I think I will use them more in my sketchbook um, because they are just a little bit shiny and not, not very super shimmery. I will now swatch these Harry Potter markers. Um, they are very interesting because they change the color when you go over um, it with the, the other side. So you have one color side and one non-colored side. And when you go with the non-colored side over the color side, um, it changes the color. So it's a really fun thing. And I think, of course, it's great for kids, but I... Um, think I will maybe keep one for my myself because I love to use this in my bullet journal um, and you will see why whilst I'm swatching them. Something that is also important for me is that things don't bleed through and all the markers didn't bleed through these sketchbook pages. And here you can see um, the orange changed to a yellow. And that's the reason why I would keep one of these sets for myself because it's so pretty when you make your bullet journal layout and just use this style for the days for example and I think that looks pretty lovely. I'm wondering if there are markers around with let's say more colors to have with, with this property in case you know please leave me a comment um, because I would like to check these out Now I have these fine liners slash ballpoint pens I've ordered. I just ordered these because of their style. Um, I love this one with a little move from the Moomins. Um, I think it's a super beautiful design. And this is a Pentel Energel with a 0 0.5 tip. And it's really nice to write. And I think you could also use it for drawing if you do line drawing. Um, I think I will just use it in my bullet journal or to write down some notes. This next one is also a Enadryl from Pentel and it has a orangey color. I didn't know this when I ordered it because I thought it would just be um, the color of the packaging, of the, of the, no packaging, of the pen itself. And it would be black or blue but it is orange um, it's a nice thing because I can use it in my bullet journal 
And the next two are also from Pentel and these are called Pentel We Free Feel We Feel. I don't know if the we is spelled. Um they are also 0 0.5, have a 0 0.5 tip and they look like um, a gel pen, but they they go on differently, not like a gel pen. Um, so I really like, I really like them just for writing down notes and they are super pretty, I think. And finally, I have one of these Harry Potter uh, pens here and it's also um, kind of a ballpoint pen in black and I have one Ravenclaw and one Gryffindor. I think that was everything from this order. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out the Black Friday deals over at Stationery Pal and um, I wish you a lovely rest of the week and we will see us here on Saturday. Bye!